while this chick um, admits to attempting to murder her kids by holding their heads underwater or covering their mouth and nose with her hand, um, it's good that she's gotten prison time for what she's done. Probably, honestly, still not long enough for what she's done. Hopefully, she will die in prison. YouTuber Ruby Frankie will spend up to 60 years in prison. The Utah mother of six was sentenced today. She and her business partner pleaded guilty to charges of child abuse back in December. NBC News correspondent Valerie Castro has been following this story for us and joins us now. So, Valerie, influencers aren't always under the microscope. In this case, she certainly was. The details in this case are also quite disturbing. Can you just remind us what happened here? Isinkly, this was a parenting lifestyle channel that Ruby Frankie had on YouTube, but critics say it was really a harsh. Yeah, it's not a uh, parenting lifestyle channel. Unless your uh, parenting style is uh, training your kids. Parenting style that she was promoting, she pleaded guilty to numerous charges, including things like holding a child's head underwater, putting her hand over a child's mouth and nose so they couldn't breathe, kicking a child while she was wearing boots. That sentencing was handed down today and she... Well, kicking a child while she was wearing boots. Uh, I mean, honestly, uh, people like shows that like not everybody should have kids and we should not be like advocating for like every single person to be having kids um i don't advocate for like a child license but uh it's uh definitely been proven time and time again that like not everybody is fit to be a parent and people like this definitely need to be in prison um because people like this are just uh, true monsters that can never change. She did make a statement in court, a very tearful statement, apologizing and saying she, that she accepted responsibility for her actions. She also mentioned her children in that statement. Take a listen to what she had to say. I was so disoriented that I believed dark was light and right was wrong. I would do anything in this world for you. I took from you all that was soft and safe and good. Honestly, uh, her uh, crying here, it is obviously fake. She is just trying to pull up people's heartstrings and make it seem like, I guess, she uh, saw the error of her ways and that she actually cares for her kids. But uh, people who actually care about their kids wouldn't abuse their kids, nor allow their quote-unquote business partner to do the same thing. Her so-called business partner, Jody Hildebrandt, was also sentenced today, although Ruby Frankie said in that statement today that she did not see their relationship in that way. She says she hired Hildebrandt to be her mentor, but claims that they were never business partners. Sinclair. Oh, I mean, it's just a tough story, Valerie. What did we hear from the judge in today's sentencing? And do we know what's next for Frankie's family? I'm thinking specifically of her kids. Yeah, so the judge did also address Jody Hildebrandt. She was a licensed therapist. Uh, he issued a statement. This is what he said. Adults with specialized training in particular are supposed to protect children. You didn't do that in this case. In this case, you terrorized children, and the results have been tragic. Now, as for Ruby Frankie's family, her husband filed... Um, though, uh, people with specialized training, I mean, we, people may think that, you know, they're there to help protect kids and, you know, others, but that's not always the case, not with, uh, people who look to get said training in order to use it to abuse other people for divorce last year he has since asked for a damages in this case and we're told her children remain under professional care uh, after